Um, right. There's some hot other themes like yeah. cryptocurrency and cannabis and China. Yeah. So why aren't those in our portfolios right now? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Uh, one of the things that I do is I actually keep a list of every theme that I can think of at any point in time. And, uh, you know, there's constantly new themes coming out. Um, one of the key things, like, for example, with cryptocurrency, um, it's just too volatile. Uh, that particular portfolio that I showed you, you know, we literally have hundreds of millions of dollars in these portfolios and I'm dealing with, you know, a client's life savings. And so volatility is a huge issue. So I don't have a lot of straight oil and gas because the volatility is very high. I don't have, uh, uh, you know, cryptocurrency again because the volatility is very high. And there's some reasons that volatility is high in different areas. Cannabis is another one, high volatility, and it's not really legal across the U.S. yet. So there's some some hangups there. China is very fascinating. Uh, it just, you know, has had some great runs, uh, but it's not doing that great right now. And so, again, it's not only the theme. I also need to see some proof that that theme is creating some rates of return. Uh, and China's, you know, kind of political, really, uh, situation where, you know, we're going back and forth, you know, are we delisting stocks or not, or, you know, what have you. So, uh, you know, there's lots of different themes and, and some of those things might end up in the portfolio if they meet the criteria. Uh, but that, yeah, that's, that's part of the screening process uh, as far as that goes.